guys, welcome back. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I know that I sure am. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys some Rainbow Six Siege glitches, tips, tricks, hiding spots, and easter eggs. This is going to be my third video where I've done a video like this. And overall, the first two have gone over really well, getting around 10k to 16k views. So I just want to thank you guys for that. Now in this video, like I said before, we're going to be showing some glitches, hiding spots, tips, tricks, and easter eggs. So if you guys do enjoy, remember to leave a like down below. And if you are new to the channel and want to see more videos like this, or some different videos like montages and stuff like that, make sure you do press that subscribe button. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. This first one actually comes from a fellow Rainbow Six Siege YouTuber, McAllister. His channel will be in the description. I recommend going and checking him out, guys. Currently at around 215 subs, so again, make sure you go check him out and drop a sub to him. Pretty much what this is going to allow you to do, though, is shoot out the ground on the map bank in a certain area and get a really good kill hole going where the ground is going to be invisible from the other side. So pretty much this is going to be over by the CEO office. You're just going to want to go up by this kind of shelf and near the American flag and shoot out the floor. Now in a minute you're going to see me run downstairs and look up where I supposedly shot out the floor. You're going to notice there's no hole at all. People are not going to know that you're searching through there. And I recommend using the spot when the objective is in the teller's office. Because obviously people that are attacking are going to come rush through the front doorway. Try to get into the teller's room from that way. You'll be able to get some really good kills. I wouldn't recommend staying there for the whole round though because obviously people are going to catch on after a while. Run up there and get you from behind. So this next one doesn't have an original founder because a lot of people have posted this so nobody really knows where it started. This is also a video featured by McAllister so I'd recommend going and checking him out. It's a really nice glitch. It's going to allow you to get an OP drone spot on the map bank once again. So what you're going to want to do for this is just drive your drone into the awning area that you see me drive mine into. You're going to jump and then you're going to realize you were in the ceiling. From here you can drive around all over the roof of the map. Really nice spot because nobody can kill you once you're in there you can still spot enemies still get a really good like cam and then eventually if you do want to get out just go to the main lobby area keep driving forward and eventually you're going to fall out from the spot and you can go and retrieve your drone and if you want maybe climb back up on top of the building and get the drone back in there again so the next thing i'm going to show is actually a trick that you guys can use when you're retrieving the hostage so pretty much, you know how when you drop a hostage from a high height, he sometimes will survive and you'll have to go down and revive him. This trick will make it so you can drop the hostage and you can actually have your teammate catch him. It's as easy as what I just explained, guys. You're just going to want to have your teammate that's going to catch the hostage, look at where the hostage is going to fall from, and hold X. While doing this, you have kind of a 60-40 shot leaning in your favor of you actually being able to catch the hostage. It depends on how fast the hostage is falling and where exactly you're standing, but from the video clip, you can see on this basic spot in Canal, I was able to catch the hostage, and my friend Speedy was also able to catch the hostage. I really quickly just want to mention, guys, that my friend Speedy does also have a YouTube channel that he's just started. I'd recommend going and checking his channel out. He also has posted some montages and videos of that sort. So if you're into that, make sure you do go and check his channel out. It will be in the description, and I recommend that you guys do go and sub him. He's a really nice guy. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is actually the easter egg for this video. Now if you go on the map clubhouse and you go to some of the areas where there's spray paint, you'll notice once in a while you'll see 500 chickens, aight? Now if you actually go into depth with this and you look it up on Google, you'll find a reddit post about it. In this reddit post it talks about how during a conference, two of the devs for Ubisoft were talking about the garage without like anything in it. It kind of looks like an old chicken coop. Then a random guy who was there was like, how many chickens could you fit in the coop? And they were like hundreds. Then he said, 500 chickens, aight. So pretty much that's where it came from. Now, I don't actually know uh, who even said this or when this was said, but if you go on the Reddit post, you can actually find information about this. I thought that this would be good to put in, just because it's a funny quote without you even knowing the backstory behind it. And there is a backstory behind it. Now, if you guys want to check out this Reddit post for yourself, it will be in the description, as will the people I've mentioned in this video, so I'd recommend going and checking out all that, guys. There's so much to check out in the description for this video. Now, last but not least, we actually have a glitch hiding spot that I showed in one of my previous videos. This is going to be taking place on the canal map, and it's going to allow you to get in kind of this watered-off barrier area. Now, what you're going to want to do for this is just come up to this railing, vault, and then you're going to maneuver yourself around on this pole.
And while doing that, you're going to try to get to the area you see me at, and eventually try to look on the boat for a vault sign. Once you find it, you'll be able to hop up onto the boat, and from there, hop off into the water, overall getting a really good spot. Now, once you're in here, you can't get out, so I'd recommend doing this on the attacking team, because obviously, if you're a defender, you're going to get spotted. This spot is also nice because right across from it is actually the boat supplies defending area, which this can be used to your advantage because you can just camp out there with, let's say, glass and use his enhanced scope to zoom into the room. So yeah guys, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, remember to go and leave a like down below. It always does help out, and I just overall appreciate it. So yeah guys, that's been it. I'll see you next time. Peace.